Hey guys, John here from Perfect Vocals Academy. I recently posted a trick on TikTok of side chaining the vocal reverb. This can be a great trick to have an in your face vocal while retaining all the reverb you really want in the track to fit the vibe. Do me a favor and hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications, let's get into this. Hey guys, this next video is about side chaining the vocal reverb. Uh, this is a pretty cool trick because we all like reverb on the vocals, right? But it can get excessive real quick. So I do this trick sometimes and I just posted this on TikTok and got some pretty good reactions. I, I don't think a lot of people have thought about this, but you can basically make it to where whenever the vocal is going, you are sending signal from the vocal into a compressor that is placed after the reverb to where every time the vocal's going, the reverb's ducking out. But when the vocal stops in the gaps in the vocals, the reverb is very prominent. So this gives you the best of both worlds. You can have an in-your-face dry vocal and a wet vocal all in the same song. Let me show you this trick. That's no reverb. Okay, so we got a lot of reverb going on. So I'm going to place the R compressor by Waves. I'm going to bring down the ratio. Nowhere exact, just four or five. I'm going to create, or I'm going to go to the key input. I'm going to pick a bus. I gotta make sure it's an unused bus. It's not really showing me unused buses. I'm gonna create one. Bus 25 is the one I just made. I'm gonna do a fairly fast attack. We'll play around with the release too, but Go. We can't keep traveling down this road. So we're gonna go from the sends on the main vocal. That's what we're doing. We're sending from the main vocal. Go to bus twenty five, that's the bus we selected. And then hold option and click. Now you're at zero. So unity gain right there. Let's go back to the reverb, compressor on the reverb. Go. So nothing's happening we yet. Let's start compressing. See how the vocal immediately gets more in your face, but yet the reverb is still completely intact. For the for the space in between that's the reason we use reverb it's to fill the space we don't 100 percent need the reverb when the vocal's going um unless you're going for a certain vibe but you know with a lot of styles of music the vocal is supposed to be right there just up front Go. We can't keep traveling. so the attack obviously that's the attack is how fast it's ducking out the reverb. So we want it pretty fast because the vocal comes in pretty fast. Go. We can't keep traveling down this road. Every time I have to say goodbye. And we got a pretty fast release too. Because uh, we want that reverb to come back as soon as the vocal stops. We want it to just come back. Let's see what it sounds like with a slower. Go. We can't keep traveling down this road. Every yeah, I feel like it takes longer for the reverb to come in, so we're gonna make this fast. Go. We can't keep traveling down this road. Every time I have to say goodbye. 
Perfect Vocals Academy presents the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. Do you want to become a profitable audio engineer? This course includes a PVA sound treatment ebook, 15 in depth videos, as well as worksheets for each video. Bonus video How to Profit as an Up and Coming Audio Engineer and a bonus Pro Tools template using Waves plugins is also included. And the cool thing is about ducking it out with a compressor, you're not getting rid of the reverb when the vocal's going. We're just really ducking it down to a way lower level. And then it's just come, it's automatically popping back up to a loud level in the gaps. We can do the same thing. Let me create another bus. We can do the same thing with delay, which is cool. Which I think I've showed this before. I got a delay right here. We're going to get out the waves, R comp again. Bus 26, that's the one I chose. Do the same thing about four. Fast attack. Fast release. Okay. Now we're on the main vocal. Go to bus 26. Unity gain. And let's try this out. Go. We can't keep traveling down this road. So this keeps the, the delay super low while the vocal's going. Some of those delays just got a little messy. So when you dial this in, it really tames that. That's it for today's video, guys. Just a nice short one, but an effective one for sure, because this is going to really make your vocal mixes way better. Feel free to check out the Vocal Mixing Masterclass. It's in the description. It's a course to teach you everything you need to know about audio engineering. Be sure to get my mini course also in the description. It's a sample from the Mixing Masterclass. Subscribe, click like. I'll see you guys next week.